Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's uh, blog entry is entitled, Are You 486 and Reality? Well, in the year 2000, the U.S. government approved the use of the abortion pill, RU486. Now, abortion rights advocates hailed the ruling as an important breakthrough, claiming that this pill would cut down on surgically performed abortions and provide an easier early abortion method. Right to life groups passionately opposed the measure and petitioned lawmakers to attach restrictions and conditions to its use. Since that time, Danko Laboratories, the sole distributor of RU486 in the United States, has reported fatalities and illnesses related to the pill, and there's a movement in Congress to legislate stricter guidelines for its distribution. Even though there are complicated legal and social pressures at work here, let's keep the following realities concerning RU486 clearly in view. Reality number one, 486 causes death. Whether it's by surgical means or through a chemically produced reaction, I mean, RU486 simply causes the embryo to detach from the uterus lining. The end result is the same, a child is killed. Giving a procedure a sanitized name doesn't change the reality of what is happening, and in this case, the death of a person is what actually happens. Reality number two, RU486 causes more abortions. This procedure will make abortions easier, cheaper, faster, and more private. All good reasons that will push women to choose this path when faced with unwanted pregnancies. All this talk about freedom of choice will never change the real outcome of this move. Women will be hurt when they choose to destroy their babies. Reality number three, RU486 causes judgment. Now the big selling point with this new drug is that its effects are minimal, thus guarding a woman's privacy. Few, if any, people need to know. Of course, we know that in reality, God knows all things, even the secrets of our hearts, and will judge us accordingly. The approval and usage of RU486 in the United States has been touted as a victory for women and reproductive rights. But the victory really belongs to Satan, who has seduced a portion of this nation into rejoicing over the fact that it will now be easier to kill the unborn. A chilling reality indeed. Well, that's it for today. I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.